This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Dwayne Thames joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas and a chance to catch up with George Brown and uh, his wife LaDonna. George, you've got uh, quite a lineup of uh, antique tractors that you've put a lot of heart and soul in. What piqued your interest in, in restoring tractors uh, back to their original fabrication? Oh, I suppose when I was a kid, I was raised on them. And you get to thinking about yesterday, and you just like to, I got started in it and got a tractor fever. Now it's getting over with. <laughs> Talk a little bit about uh, some of your favorites in your lineup here. You've got a great, uh, a great lineup of, of John Deere's, a few Case IH that you've done as well, uh, that uh, that you're going to liquidate at auction. But it's an, a, a really a lifetime of work that took to put this group together. Yeah, right. At, we've been at it right at 21 and a half, 22 years, and I think our D started it, and uh, I run the D a long time when I was a kid. And then we got the R John Deere in the 830s and a few of the A's and G's in between to chop feed with and collivate. And we got to collecting and we didn't know when to stop. And now we're running out of room and we're going to hopefully sell some so we can start over. Well, that's optimistic uh, when you think about uh, starting over. Most people at your age uh, thinking about uh, taking it easy, but uh, it sounds like for somebody that gets tractor fever, that probably doesn't happen in, until we uh, until we part ways with this earth. That's right. Uh, I'm afraid taking it easy, a person might croak, stay doing what I'm doing, and she enjoys it just as much as I do. She comes out the shop and helps me, and she's my top mechanic, and... Uh, Believe me, she's good at it, and like I say, we're running out of shop uh, storage space for them, and we hope today we, we make other people happy and take these tractors to a good home, all we're hoping for, and uh, maybe we can get part of our parts back that we got in them, and that's about all I know. <laughs> Well, talk a little bit about uh, finding parts. Obviously, you're working with, with antique tractors that, uh, for the most part, are not in, certainly not in production and not much use anymore either. Is it hard to get that accomplished? Uh, some, but not, not bad. Uh, we buy a lot of parts from Indiana, and we buy them from out at Washington, which the freight is kind of high, and uh, Wisconsin. And here in Kansas, there's... Uh, place these are Hutchison we buy and I can get about anything they need. Well, our thanks to George and LaDonna Brown uh, joining us here on the uh, Ag AM in Kansas sharing their fine collection of antique tractors that they liquidated this year making a little room in the shop. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. 